Imagine waking up to the news that World War III has been declared. What would be the immediate repercussions? Without a moment's hesitation, panic and fear would grip the globe. This wouldn't just be a local issue or a regional conflict. This would be a global crisis, affecting every single person on Earth. The world's stock markets, the lifeblood of our economies, would likely crash, plunging us into an economic abyss from which recovery might take decades. Think back to the Great Depression of the 1930s, but on a far greater scale. Governments worldwide would implement emergency measures. Curfews, rationing, martial law, all these could become a part of daily life. Schools could shut down, travel could come to a standstill, and our daily routines would be completely upended. In the first few days alone, the world as we know it would change dramatically. This is the chilling reality of a world at war. But the most terrifying aspect of World War III? The potential use of nuclear weapons. A nuclear war isn't just a war, it's a cataclysm, a doomsday scenario. There are approximately 15,000 nuclear warheads in the world today, spread across nine countries. To put that into perspective, the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima in World War II, known as Little Boy, had an explosive yield of about 15 kilotons. The average modern nuclear warhead is up to 80 times more powerful. Now let's imagine a scenario where even a fraction of these warheads are used. The immediate effects are devastating. Cities are reduced to rubble. Millions of lives are extinguished in an instant. But this is just the beginning. The aftermath is where things get truly horrifying. You've probably heard of the term nuclear winter. This is a theoretical scenario where the smoke and soot from the fires caused by nuclear explosions rise high into the stratosphere. Blocking out sunlight, it causes temperatures to plummet across the globe. Crops fail, ecosystems collapse, and starvation becomes widespread. It's a global climate catastrophe on an unprecedented scale. And then there's the radiation. A nuclear detonation releases a massive amount of radiation which contaminates the air, the soil, and the water. It's invisible but deadly. Acute radiation sickness can kill within days or weeks. Longer term, the risks of cancer skyrocket. This isn't just a problem for those in the immediate vicinity of the detonation. Wind patterns can carry this radioactive fallout across continents, affecting millions, if not billions, of people. So you see, the threat posed by nuclear weapons goes far beyond the blast itself. It's not just about the immediate destruction, but about the long-term effects on our planet and our species. A nuclear war isn't something we could simply move on from. The scars would be felt for generations, possibly centuries. A full-scale nuclear war could potentially be the end of humanity. In the aftermath of such a war, what would be left? Picture a world where the echoes of detonated bombs still resonate in our ears, where cities once bustling with life are now reduced to rubble. The potential for widespread destruction and loss of life is immense, dwarfing anything humanity has ever experienced before. The scars of this war wouldn't just be physical, but deeply entrenched in the fabric of our existence. The long-term effects of radiation would be devastating, casting a shadow of nuclear winter over survivors and the environment. The once verdant landscapes could turn into barren wastelands, and the survivors would have to grapple with the harsh realities of a world marred by radiation sickness and famine. Societal collapse could follow, with the loss of modern amenities we've taken for granted. Imagine a world without electricity, running water, or internet. A stark reminder of how fragile our civilization is. World War III would not just be a war between nations but a war against the very survival of humanity. Is there any hope in such a bleak scenario, you might ask? Indeed there is. Across the globe, nations are working tirelessly to prevent such a catastrophe. Nuclear disarmament, once a distant dream, is now a shared objective among many nations. The number of nuclear warheads has significantly decreased from the peak of the Cold War era and continues to dwindle. Let's not forget the power of peace treaties, alliances, and diplomatic meetings that foster understanding and mutual respect among nations. These efforts are the bulwarks against the storm of conflict, playing a crucial role in maintaining global stability. And what about us, the people? Our awareness, our understanding, and our voices matter. Every conversation about the devastating effects of war, every protest against violence, every call for peace, contributes to preventing such a disaster. While the threat of World War III is terrifying, it also serves as a reminder of the importance of peace and diplomacy in our world.